Welcome back to Track Life. Today, we're gonna to be installing an oil pan baffle from Moroso on our TrueWorks S2000. As you can see here, this is the Moroso oil pan baffle kit. It comes complete with trap doors that allow oil to flow into the pickup area but prevents oil from flowing back out. It is CNC laser cut and pre-bent to work with the factory oil pan. Right here, you can see it welded in to the factory oil pan. We welded the baffle in four areas, here, 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 and here. The purpose of the oil pan baffle is to ensure the oil pickup always has oil. During high G-load situation, oil can actually slosh to one side of the pan, causing the oil pickup to pick up air. And when that happens, bearing damage can occur. To prevent that, these trap doors were designed into the oil pan baffle to allow the oil to flow one direction to the pickup area and not allow the oil to flow back to the opposite direction. So during high G-load situations, the oil can actually get stuck in this area. In order to remove the oil pan, you need to remove two 14 millimeter bolts that's actually connecting the transmission to the oil pan. So there's one here and one here. So most S2000 is equipped with air conditioning. This vehicle isn't, but if it is equipped with air conditioning, you would have to remove the AC compressor that's usually sitting right here away from the oil pan. There would be a bracket here where the AC compressor connects to. So luckily, or fortunately, I don't have that. So we're not gonna have to do that. So there are a total of 21 10 millimeter screws holding the oil pan to the actual block. Just to make sure you remove all of them before trying to pry the oil pan off. Silicone is used to seal the oil pan to the block. And in order to remove the oil pan off the block, you have to pry the oil pan off. There are certain areas on the oil pan that you can actually pry safely without marring or galling the surface. You do not want to mar or gall the mating surface because of the fact that oil leak can occur. Oh yeah. One side. So after removing the oil pan, you need to remove the excess silicone that was left over because of the fact that you don't want to try to put any new silicone onto this and it might cause oil leak. So just using a regular razor blade, just cut off the old silicone. After cleaning both mating surfaces using brake cleaner, we're ready to apply silicone onto the surface. The key with silicone is you do not want to use too much of it. Most people use too much and then it starts beating over and actually clogging up the filters. So we're going to be torquing the 10 millimeter bolts to 8.7 foot pounds. As we mentioned earlier, the oil pan baffle prevents oil starvation. And the fact that I've already blown two motors from oil starvation, I'm really looking forward to this install. <laughs> 